Look, Shana, I'm really sorry I gave Dad that candle for free. Just take it out of my paycheck, whatever. Honey, I just have one simple question for you. Who are you, and what have you done with my brother? <laughs> what? It's like, nice to meet you. My name is Shayna. What's your name? Because you look a lot like my twin brother, except you're really great. <laughs> you're kind, thoughtful. You've even managed to take our most foul candle, Umbrellas of Deauville, and somehow turn it into a bestseller. <laughs> Who are you? I mean, I, uh, I guess I have to answer that question with a question. Who are you? And where is my sister Shayna? Because whoever I'm talking to is actually very cool. <laughs> well, Shane has always been pretty cool, too. It's more Ronnie, her brother, who was the difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no dog in this fight. As we've established, I'm not Ronnie. Shana's not here. Mm -mm. But I do remember Shana being a little bit of a total bitch all the time. Well, that was in reaction to Ronnie's behavior, which was aggressively shitty since the day they were born probably because he has body issues, specifically with his dick. <laughs> body issues. Yeah. Are you having a laugh? Yeah. Is she having a laugh? <laughs> because I seem to remember Shayna pulling the trigger to make weight for figure skating, only it didn't matter. She just didn't have the talent. Shayna had the talent, okay? She just blew out her knee. I heard she blew way more than just out her knee. This coming from the guy whose entire cabin jacked each other off at Ojibwa. We didn't jack each other off. We showed each other our own cum. How many times? Look, this is not why I called this meeting. Then why am I here? As hard as this is for me to admit, you coming home is the best thing that has happened to this family. Mom and Dad are so much happier apart, and us working together has been really great. Thanks. And. I hate to admit this, but I actually really like working here with you. Well, unfortunately, you won't be working here anymore. Well, this has been a roller coaster of a meeting. I'm not firing you, Ronnie. I'm selling the candle wagon. For the last few months, I've been negotiating with Yankee Candle, <laughs> and it's kind of a ton of money. They're coming tomorrow morning to just sign some papers and take all the inventory and the reins. Well, Mazel tov. For real, Mazel tov. Well, Mazel tov back at you. Because I'm making you a minority shareholder. After everything's said and done, it'll be more than enough money to cover all your credit card debt and then some. Wow. Shina, I, I, I don't really know what to say. Say you'll join me for a celebratory drink. Mudslides on the sky. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you, you go, and I'll stay and clean up the wagon, make sure the inventory in the stock room is perfect for tomorrow. Really? Yeah. OK. <laughs> I guess I'll knock off early? Wow. <laughs> we'll spend some of that Yankee candle money. You know, there's a Marshalls over there, and I have had my eye on this Kipling luggage. Yeah, I hope it's the one with the monkeys on it. <sighs> They all have the monkeys on it. Good. Hey, you can take my jet lag.